Shylock is a very main character of this play, The Merchant of Venice, and his absence can can affect the whole play. Means the character of Shylock can never be forgotten. He is playing here just like a villain. He is very revengeful. He is very cunning. He is a money lender, and this is why that. it was because of the character of shylock that this drama the merchant of venice it got popularity or it became so interested and for readers it became very curious to be aware of the whole story or to end this drama so how does shakespeare portray shylock's character or what is the character of shylock discuss the three conflicting motives and passions of shylock Oh, does the character of Shylock reflect hatred? Give reasons to support your answer. Shylock, if not the hero of the play, undoubtedly is the most dominant character of this play. So all these uh, kinds of questions can be asked or are always asked in the examination based on the character of Shylock. That is, Shylock a weak or a strong character. so all these points in brief that is what kind of impression do you get about shylock's personality so all these are the main points or main headings based on the character of shylock shylock the very first heading is that shylock is a grand figure old shylock is a grand figure of this play the merchant of venice he is imagined to be on the wrong side of 40 with unkempt hair and dressed in a long jewish garb time shylock is a money lender he is a jew and he is somewhat greedy because he he is also very revengeful and he had hated feeling for an another merchant of venice antonio her uh, he is very miser and uh, her uh, uh, he is uh, not uh, extravagant like bashinio he is very miser and uh, his miserliness is uh, jewish he loves uh, only riches and he wanted to get more and more money more and more profit from his business lending money to others or raising high interest on the paying money so this is the reason that he always grudges even his servant lends lots food sleeping by day and the cost of his clothes and his concentrated love for riches makes him a bad father because even his own daughter doesn't find any kind of freedom in the house and it also causes jessica jessica his daughter to feel that his house is hell for her only because of shylock's behavior or his greed his usury his usury is no less jewish it is based on the authority of his holy scriptures because he was a jew and what was written in the holy scripture that is followed by shylock the interest on money is a well one thrift as it is based on a bargain so he always seemed to follow this holy scriptures saying so for him barg- bargain was a way to thrive and this was the reason that he wanted to high the interest rate giving loan to others his cruelty Shylock's cruelty in business dealing is also very Jewish through and through and once a bargain is made with the Jew the Jew they must get his due due to his cruelty he does not care for the feelings of his customers and even of his daughter Jessica he Shylock is very sensitive to injustice okay not to justice but to injustice and when his that sensitiveness strikes his miserliness he almost goes mad so coming to the conclusion we can say that shylock if not the hero of the play 
he is the most dominant character of this play, the merchant of Venice.